want to say thank you to MIT for the past four years. I've really had an amazing time here. I think that MIT really pushed my boundaries and and pushed me to think about problems that um, that I would never have expected to be thinking about this early on or at this caliber. I've been able to learn from the best and from the experts um, in, 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 in any particular field that I'm learning. MIT's definitely made me a stronger person, it's made me a better person, it's made me more confident, but it's also made me realize that you don't know everything and you can't know everything and like after graduating I, I kind of feel like I know nothing. I don't know nothing but you know it just always makes you, keeps you in check, never, never lets you get too big, always keeps you humble. <laughs> I would like to thank MIT for partially getting this really interesting group of people together that is the class of 2014. I've made so many great friends. My peers and all the students here are an incredible support system and inspire me every day with the stamina and intensity and passion with which they pursue all their interests. MIT has really, really taught me so much and I feel like I've grown and I'm a completely different person than I was four years ago. And without all the resources here at MIT, I know that that wouldn't be possible. So thank you. So I think one of the coolest moments I've had at MIT was definitely some of my time at Simmons Hall, uh, where I was house chair. And a couple summers ago, I helped plan their 10th anniversary celebration. And it was kind of chaotic at first because you're negotiating contracts and still managing your research every day in the lab, but seeing a huge event with all the residents and alumni and help with the alumni association come together was such a, a nice reward. My first impression of MIT, really like what is what it is like to learn from a place like MIT, um, actually happened when I was visiting uh, the campus during CPW and where I was sitting in a class and this professor was talking about this like this mechanism and pathway of this particular molecule and after after the end of the lecture he basically said oh by the way i discovered this molecule like 5 years ago and i felt like i was just like in awe at that moment and i felt like the past 4 years uh, my education here at MIT has been nothing short of that you know it's it's really an amazing place and the professors that teach you are so absolutely accomplished but at the same time they're so down to earth and just the opportunity to get to interact with people who you know discovered the most fundamental aspects of your field for me that's biology is just incredible and to have them teach you those things that they discovered is really amazing uh, and just the doors that this place has opened for me i wouldn't have even been able to open if I hadn't gone here. I got to work with a woman who was blind and um, severely hearing impaired and she wanted some sort of device that would help her uh, communicate with her phone and so um, my partner and I we built her a bracelet that vibrates when her phone rings and it communicates with her phone via Bluetooth and it was just so inspiring to me to be able to get my hands on some sort of work that was actually going to help someone. I run cross country and track and field here at MIT. Uh, and every year, our big team championship is the New England Division Three championships. This year was the first year that both the men and women's team won the championship uh, at the same time. So at the end of the meet, we all got together in a big circle. And, and both the guys and girls, we had a really big MIT, MIT, MIT. Um, and for me, that was just kind of a phenomenal closing meet um, for my college track experience because, A, it was the best team cheer that we've ever done, but also um, it, it just, I just really felt like I had found a group of people that I really loved, that we were all passionate about the same thing, and, and we really achieved something amazing. So after commencement, um, I will be doing data analytics as a research assistant for social policy work, um, focusing on all kinds of different social problems and measuring them and trying to find solutions and mechanisms behind why, why they happen. And uh, it's definitely um, been a dream of mine coming from a neuroscience background to take the theory about how individuals make decisions and broadening that to how populations make decisions. Next year I will be going to the University of California in San Francisco for medical school. I'm actually doing a five-year program. It's an MD with a master's in public health um, geared towards uh, doctors who want to treat the urban underserved. Um, and I hope that my career in the future will have both an international and U.S. component to it. After commencement, uh, I just plan to go home and relax with my family, spend some quality time in Seattle, um, 
and, and relax my brain for the next big thing, which is medical school. Directly after MIT, I'm going to take a bit of a break this summer, um, but then next fall I'll be attending Stanford University for my PhD in bioengineering. Uh, I'm very excited um, to head over to uh, actually on the other side of the of the other side of town at Harvard Medical School to pursue a combined MD PhD program uh, under the HST program. Next year I'll be doing a Marshall Scholarship at Oxford University in the Radiation Biology program and I'll do a one-year master's there and then after that I'm coming back to do the Harvard MD PhD program and the HST program. I did it! <laughs> um, really just wanted to say thank you again to MIT. It's been a really amazing four years and I've grown so much. Thank you. So I'd like to thank my family and friends for their fierce support over the four years here at MIT. My ma, baba, and didi. Thank you, Anne, Baba, Leila, my wonderful, perfect family, um, for always being there for me, catching me when I fell, um, but most of all for pushing me to work hard and dream big every day, even when I didn't want to be pushed. I obviously want to thank all my friends who are an amazing support group. Uh, and I also really want to thank the men's hockey team, which I've been a part of for the past four years, and my coach, Dave Hunter. It's honestly been one of the best part of my MIT experiences, getting to play on the team, and it's just, I don't know, the best group of friends I could ask for. Class of 2014, we made it! Woo! Guys, we're done. We're so awesome. Class of 2014, we rock. I'm so proud to be part of this class. And yeah, we're done. Woo! <laughs> it's really over. I can't believe it. We did it. Yay!